Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, you know about me. I am Bhavani Magam. I work as lead developer in test in one of the software firms in London. Um, so in the last session, I have gone through how to uh, execute Cucumber tests using Ma Cucumber tests using Maven and how to execute them in parallel using Maven and um, JUnit test runners. So uh, in the last session, I have I haven't defined any uh, specific reporting format in uh, my test runners. So in this session, I'm going to explain how to define different reporting formats using Cucumber test runner. Um, and also when you don't define any reporting format, uh, the default format is JUnit format, which is XML files, it produces XML files. But when you are running your tests on CI pipeline, uh, soon after you open the report, you need to get a glimpse of what went wrong uh, with the failed test. So for that, you need nice way of reporting. So uh, what we do is we use Cucumber JVM plugin on Jenkins and uh, feed the JSON reporting files to that plugin to get the nice uh, reporting format. Sorry, nice report on Jenkins uh, pipeline. So um, let's go through into the session now. Let me share my screen. Hope you are able to see my screen. So here um, I have a plugin section where um, I have defined different reporting formats here. Pretty means it is HTML format, JUnit is JUnit format, which produces the reports in XML format. And JSON is JSON reporting, it produces the reports in JSON format and HTML, uh, all of you know, it is HTML format. So um why i have defined the names as test runner one test runner one cucumber reports test runner one dot html is when you are running your test in parallel if you if your name like if you are only naming this as cucumber hyphen reports dot json um, all these four threads uh, will try to write into the same json file and uh, each of them override the other uh, report files so that's the reason you have to give the unique names for your uh, reports so that's why i named it as test runner one cucumber reports test runner one results and in test runner two i have defined it as test runner two for json and xml files and html both of them and for uh, test runner th three also i have given the unique names and four is the same so now let's run the test in parallel. Uh, let me check if I have enabled the four count flag on. Uh, okay, so I have this four count flag enabled and it's gonna run the test in four threads. And then, um, I mean, we are producing the reports in uh, JSON and everything, but for local testing, uh, what will be useful is this HTML files. So on local, you can't use any Cucumber JVM plugins that uh, you could use on uh, Jenkins. So you need nice HTML report um, so that you can look at the reports to see what went wrong when you're running the test locally. So that's why we need HTML report. And JSON, you need them on uh, CI pipeline. And these XML files, we have a different reporting uh, system called TestRail. So what we do is once we have all the XML files, we merge um, all these XML files and extract the information about the test, whether it is a failure or um, something else, either it is a skip test and all. So we upload all that information into test rail, which, is, which will be used for audit purposes. So that's why we, we produce uh, XML files as well. But all of you might not need all these reporting formats. Um, for sure, you would need JSON because everyone, everybody is uh, following CI pipeline structure. So you need nice reports. So you need those uh, JSON files. And so when you have multiple JSON files, Cucumber JVM plugin always allows you to um, specify the uh, reg regular expression like star hyphen cucumber hyphen reports dot json then it will find all the um, cucumber hyphen reports all the files that ends with cucumber hyphen reports dot json and um, combines all of them and gives you a single report on jenkins so you definitely need that json and html files are needed for your local testing 
Um, okay, so now let me run the tests in parallel. And then after this run, we will just go to target folder and uh, see what kind of files are produced. So it should give us XML, JSON, as well as HTML files. And also here, when you say pretty, it's going to produce only index.html because you have four runners, runner classes here. Everything will be written into index.html. And when parallel threads are accessing a single HTML file, the reports will be overwritten over there. And also that pretty is useful when um, you're trying to execute them on the command line, you would see these um, lines properly in highlighted formats and all. Okay, so uh, the test run is finished now. So here I have different files and um, you can see test runner one cucumber reports.json is there, test runner two is there. And test runner one XML is there, two XML is there, three, four, and HTML as well. Let me open the HTML report, maybe from here. Um, so normally when you publish the reports with Cucumber JVM, it looks even nicer. Um, here you can see like at least you, you get a glimpse like all the test has passed. So now if I make a test fail, um, it would show us where it is failing. So for it to fail, I'll just say it as 20. <laughs> So let me run the test again. Hope you have seen the report here. It shows uh, what are the examples and scenario claim that's been executed and, and the execution summary, how many scenarios are there, etc. So the, uh, there will be one test that will fail in this uh, run because I changed the expectation 5 plus 10 sum I am expecting 20 instead of 15 so it should fail okay so there is one test failure you can see sum uh, of 5 and 10 is 10 but the actual sum is 15 so expectation has failed now let's see uh, what our report says Okay, so you can see the assertion error clearly what went wrong. You are expecting 20, but uh, actually is 15. So you are able to see that in the report. So this is how you can obtain the uh, clear reports by using plugin section in the Cucumber Runner. So uh, that's all for today. I hope I haven't forgotten anything, but if you are looking for any specific topics, please um, comment on my videos so that I'll take a look and I'll try to do the specific videos for you. And one more thing is next session, uh, whenever we are running the tests, we um, especially integration tests, we will have several integration environments. So you might want to run them, uh, run the same test against uh, different environments. So uh, we will see in the next session how we can run the same test against different environments. Okay, then um, bye for now. Bye.